We've enhanced the import geometry dialog to allow for the import of very large GenIO files. We've done this by adding an additional option only when GenIO files are specified. So let's take a look at how this works. So I want to start by first looking at importing an inroads ALG file. And you can see here in the dialog that you have your, your three options, the ability to assign feature definitions from a table, to assign a single linear or point feature to all the elements, and then you create uh, civil rules. Now, we've made some changes for the GenIO workflow. So here I'm going to select a GenIO file, and you can see this is a very large one. It's about 183 megabytes. So we'll import these in. Okay, now I want you to notice the difference here in the dialog. You still have your original three, but now you've got this option import as 3D graphics only. So it's, it's, it's one or the other. If you want to create civil rules, this one you don't get. Uh, but if I import 3D graphics, then it won't create civil rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything. And I, I don't have a feature definition table. I'm just going to use assign feature definition. Now, one thing this does differently, because you're importing as 3D graphics only and not assigning civil rules, it will not assign feature definitions, but it will use the symbology of these feature definitions and assign them to the element. So let's go ahead and import. At this point, we can see that all the elements are brought in, and they've all been uh, graphically represented by the correct feature definition symbology.